treatment of cancer. Our health specialist Cindy Leong joins us with that story. Cindy? Mark, scans using positron emission tomography, or PET technology, have been available in Vancouver for about three years now. But you have to pay for them, some $2,500. Now, early results from a clinical trial conducted here show PET scans are safe, accurate, and invaluable in the treatment of many cancers. Yeah, it's a very simple process. They just uh, give you a little injection in the arm here. Last year, Diane Waters was injected with a radioactive glucose tracer as part of her PET scan. What had happened was my breast cancer had metastasized in the early fall, and we, we didn't know exactly where it was. We had taken a, a CAT scan, we had taken uh, an X-ray, but the actual activity, we had no idea what was going on. But a PET scan gave a clear picture of how far Diane's cancer had spread. There's multiple lesions in the liver, even outside of the liver. Um, there's areas of bone uptake in the shoulders and uh, in the spine. Unlike CT scans, which show the body's structure, PET scans look at the biochemistry. Every living cell requires sugar, glucose, to grow and to survive. Cancer cells uh, consume so much more glucose than a normal cell, so that we can uh, identify uh, where those cancer cells are by injecting a small amount of, uh, of sugar compound into the bloodstream that has a radio tracer in it. In a clinical trial involving 75 BC cancer patients, researchers found the glucose tracer agent had a 95% sensitivity in detecting cancer and an overall accuracy of 90%. No patient suffered any side effects, and 65% of them had their cancer treatments influenced or changed as a result of the scans. Vancouver's leading thoracic surgeon has found PET scans to be useful in managing the care of many of his cancer patients. And the patients that we scanned, I, I personally found that it changed my management in 50% of them. It could make or break the decision to operate or not. But yes, potentially yes. For Diane, having to pay for her PET scan was well worth it. You know that $2,500 is a lot of money, but you find it because we're talking life and death here. For more information about PET scans, you can ask your oncologist or check out the website www.petscan.ca. The radioactivity from the glucose tracer agent used in the scan leaves the body within four to five hours. A final note, PET scans tend to be more sensitive to certain types of cancer.